I was a little hesitant about making a video with lawn tools, right? Power tools. But you know what? This is the third time I'm gonna be using these new tools and I've been really impressed. And I'm hoping that this time I'll be able to catch the magical moment of reloading the DeWalt trimmer. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the DeWalt brushless trimmer slash edger slash whatever you wanna plug into it, tool. Oh, and also a blower. What's up YouTube, Jason here with Buy My Bits. And in today's video, I know I don't really talk about lawn care stuff, but this is kind of one of those unique things where I was really pushing back the idea of getting electric powered lawn tools because in my mind, I've used one in my life before and it was terrible. So I thought to myself, all battery tools suck. They don't have the power. They don't have the longevity. Like they just can't do the same as gas power tools. Well, I finally decided to stop being so biased against them and give them another shot. Everything you see from here down to here is detachable. And the package that I bought actually came with the trimmer head and the edger head, but they also offer an additional attachment for the blower. Now, both these tools are 60 volt. They use the 20 slash 60 flex volt batteries. And this one came with the six amp hour. And I believe this one came with the six amp hour as well. Yes, I do buy them in combos since I am heavily vested into the DeWalt market. Any kind of combo that gives me a large battery along with the purchase is an added value to my entire set. Cause we all know batteries don't last forever. And even though I haven't actually killed a DeWalt battery yet, I know it's coming. I've been running this DeWalt blower for, I wanna say at least two years now and it has been an amazing experience making the jump over into a trimmer slash edger combo however was a little bit of a harder sell for me yes they do have blower attachments that if you want to go through the process of taking this off and hooking up the blower in order to use the blower you can definitely do that and save yourself a little bit of money however in my professional lazy experience i would say getting a separate blower is a good thing. Now you can call this an addict for convenience or a lazy person, whatever you want to. But the fact of the matter is, any time spent switching things over, getting things set up, or just changing something that's taken away from your time in order to achieve the same goal is time that you can never get back. This is facts. So for that exact purpose, I do kind of regret buying a combo deal. That is having the trimmer and the edger in one. When in reality, I kind of want two machines, one hooked up to each one, that way I can just grab and go and not have to swap it over. It's not that it's entirely difficult, but laziness slash convenience slash I don't want to do this any longer, just sometimes takes the hold, takes the hold, takes the hold on me. Jesus take the hold. <laughs> now swapping this over, like I said, is extremely easy. It's literally just a matter of loosening this little tightening bolt right here, pushing in this pin, and then having leverage to pull this apart. See, super easy. Just set this right there and then take this and line it up. On the side of the tools, you'll see two arrows. So it's really hard to screw up. I mean, it tells you exactly how to put it in the hole. I mean, how often in life is like your runway to the hole lit up with arrows? You know what I mean? Now each attachment does come with a cap. Uh, I threw one attachment cap away, or at least set it aside somewhere. So it's basically thrown away and I'm keeping one because there is grease inside this hole that I would imagine is a good thing to keep because, you know, heat. Then using your newly discovered runway, all you do is line it up, stick it in the hole, and see if I can do this one-handed. Oh, there we go, look at that. See, slides right in and attaches itself. Then just as easy as we loosened it up, I'm going to tighten up this little tightening thing. And there you go. So getting everything switched over is easy. And like I said before, I am fairly heavily vested into the uh, DeWalt family. So I have a bunch of these batteries. Now, if memory serves me right, this tool came with a six amp hour battery, but I have 90 amp hours. Something to keep in mind, the six amp hour batteries, if I remember right, is $250 a piece. This entire combo set was about $390. So if you take out the $250 battery, that's a pretty cheap set of trimmer and edgers. 
Since I just finished mowing my lawn, I decided this time to start off with edging and then follow it up with some trimming. As I said, this is a brushless motor, so you don't necessarily get the like consistent variable speed by pushing the trigger, but it does have little notches. It'll just be you know, one step after another. It's just one of those things that you notice while you're using it. But here on the front, you do have the option to set it to high or to low. I always, of course, have it set to high. And on the top here, you have the safety switch. This actually is supposed to fold down and be kind of a nuisance. That way you have to flip this up in order to push down the safety switch. But what I did is I glued this top. So no matter what, I don't have to worry about flipping that. That is, of course, a choice you'll have to make on your own tool if you get it. But to me, it was more of a nuisance than a safety thing. So I ripped it off, but then I'm like, well, Maybe I'll want it later, just, I have no idea. I just glued it. Then once you hold this down, you can pull this trigger and that will activate the head. And I'll demonstrate that here in just a second. Now, the reason why I mentioned the brushless thing not being 100% variable is because in my experience with using a gas trimmer, I notice as I'm going in and out and around certain grassy areas that I kind of fluctuate how hard I pull the trigger. And it's a variable speed, it's a gas engine. That's how it works. So I kind of sort of found myself having to retrain the way I look at going around obstacles or lifting up the head or something like that. Because in your mind, you have to know that it has different steps of speed instead of an extremely variable speed. It does have multiple speeds. It's just not like a gas engine, but that's okay. Before I showcase how this works, I do want to talk about this head for a second. This thing is already modified because it did have a little guard that came on the tip right here that was supposed to protect or do something with the edge but it did nothing but get in the way so that was the first thing i took off because it to me it was just literally not usable also you have this tightening thing right here you can loosen this up and you can adjust the depth of what you're cutting i already have all mine set up and ready to go so let's give you a demonstration I'll accept that maybe I have to work on my skill just a little bit, but that's a clean edge. And even though it does, you can hear it working sometimes, like maybe it has to work a little hard, this thing chews through the grass and the dirt without any problems. And that is definitely an important factor because if you don't have a really nice clean edge already established, you will be digging a little bit in the mud in order to get everything cleaned up. Now that the edging is done, all I have to do is switch it back over to the trimming head, which just like we did before, gonna loosen this up and slide it out of the hole. Now what I was running before is a, looks like Tro Troy built, just something from Home Depot or Lowe's, one of the box stores. And I've had this for a few years and now the carburetor just kind of needs cleaned out or whatever. So that's pretty much what pushed me to replace it. Now a few things about the trimmer before I get into using it. This thing comes equipped with a speed loading head, something that I have actually not used yet, but it's supposed to be super easy to reload. According to online, you basically, whenever you need to replace the string, all you do is you get the full length string that you need, push it through the hole until it comes to the other side, and then twist the head to get it wrapped up inside. And then you just, when you're doing your thing, you just push that and then it spits it out. 
It's just worlds better than the old version because you have to like take that off, you have to stick it in the hole, you have to wrap it around. It's just like a whole thing. So I'm actually a little excited to test out reloading, but I've already used this three times and I haven't had to reload it yet. It's kind of weird. Also with the trimmer head, it does come with a adjustable blade that cuts your overall length. So like here's the total length here. As you can see, I went through a little bit. It originally was stuck to right here, but I extended it out for just a little bit of a wider swing. I think it's about a 15 inch swing uh, on your string. So it's, you know, your personal preference, but I just wanted a bigger string. Other than that, the trimmer head is a trimmer head. It just attaches to that same device and that's it. This is, however, a perfect time to give you an accurate demonstration of the variable speed head that it has on something a little less heavy, like an edger blade, for example, it takes a little bit more to get spun up. Whereas a trimmer head, you can kind of hear the difference. Let me show you. Now, again, you will have to push the safety switch in order to engage the motor. So if you don't have that pushed down, you won't be able to pull the trigger. But once you pull that down, you can do that. So the lowest speed that you have available is just barely pulling. So you do have multiple options to choose from, but if you listen closely, you can definitely hear the steps that the motor have. Try it again. Not a big deal. The only thing that I had to get used to was tapping it. So when you're going around, you're doing your trimming things, sometimes you just go off and on a little bit, right? It's not a thing. Basically, whenever you engage the trigger, there's just that, that little subtle delay. You see it? And if you're bouncing, just not going to give you the same experience. Now, in my experience with gas pedals, you can sit there and bounce the trigger and it's going to give you that variable speed and it's fairly instant reaction because it is a gas motor. So it's a little bit of a learning curve getting used to that delay. And instead of letting go completely, you just kind of find yourself letting off just a little bit. So when you're trimming, you're just more like... It's not a big learning curve, but it is something that's definitely just a little bit different. Now, because I really, really, really wanted to demonstrate the speed loading head of it, I ended up just taking it apart and taking out what was remaining of the string. So it actually has a lot of life left into it, but I did want to experience the reloading myself. If you see these two little white notches right here, all you have to do is line them up. And as you can see, it opens up to where you can see all the way through it. See that? You open that up and you can just push the string directly through it. So then it is just a matter of taking one long piece of string, fishing it through the hole and then twisting the cap until you get the desired length. Once you have it the same length, 
all you do is rotate it. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, I got it a little lopsided because I was more worried about getting it on camera than I was uh, actually loading it straight, but it's just a matter of trimming it up to make it equal or just firing it up and letting it equalize itself because it does have the blade on the end right here. Still, I mean, it does take a little bit of spinning and some work to get everything loaded in there, but it is easy. I'll give it that. And just like that, the trimming and the edging is done. Oh, I, I do knew my battery. I should note here that off one nine amp hour battery, I have trimmed and edged the property, something that I was able to achieve with the six amp hour battery. Uh, however, just nine amp allows me to get a little bit more through the blowing than what a six amp hour does. Not that that is a terribly big deal because I have a spare nine amp just chilling on the charger but still, it's nice getting everything knocked out with one battery, or at least most of it. Now this standalone brushless blower, again, still has the same, I wanna say flaw, but the same characteristic of not being 100% variable because you can still hear the steps. However, because of the way it's set up and the motor being smaller and it doesn't have to get initiated as fast, it seems a little smoother, watch. You can see there's still a delay though. The good thing is, is that this thing is powerful. I mean, yes, it's an electric blower, but I'll tell you what, this thing moves some air. Funny enough, I'm actually done blowing and I still have battery left. I only got about a bar, but I still have battery left. I still have to go through and, and break up some of the thatch built up in the yard, but that's more of a, I don't want a bag right now type of thing. But still, one nine amp hour battery, that's not bad. I do not make it this far in a six amp. So I only make it through part of my blowing. And just like that, the lawn is edged, trimmed and blown. So part of me thinks, was it unfair to be biased against electronic lawn care tools, or was it a good thing to wait for the right tool? And that's where I'm at right now. I feel like I have the right tools. Both the trimmer attachment and the blower both handle everything it needs to, without a doubt, without having any issues. Yes, I do use a nine amp hour battery and it only comes with a six. But that's okay because the 9 amp batteries go really well with my vacuums that I have, little handheld vacuums, and I use those down in the basement all the time. So circling back into being in the ecosystem and wanting something that can benefit your entire ecosystem, if I, you already have DeWalt like I did, it's just one of those nice to have type of deals. Running this thing for about two years now and running this thing for about three weeks. I can say that so far, I'm definitely satisfied with my purchase. I can edge my property, I can trim my property, and the trimmer string that came attached, which is roughly about seven feet left over, I've already went a few weeks of trimming with it and I still have not ran out of trim. So I would say the DeWalt stringer itself is actually not that bad. What I have right now, it seems like I would reload about every two weeks. So far, I've made it three weeks on this and I still have plenty left to go. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know if it's a difference in the style of which I trim or difference of speed, or maybe it's the string. I have no idea, but either way, it's performing really well. Well guys, you can find DeWalt stuff all over online or at homedepot.com or something like that. So I will link in the description, the exact tools that I was talking about today. Either way, it's just one of those things you can get just about anywhere that sells DeWalt stuff. So I would probably say go online order it from homedepot.com. I talked about having a different tool and I am definitely happy that I don't have to worry about swapping up out another tool just to be able to blow. I just don't like the sitting down and, and just the time, you know? It's one of those when you have the momentum going and you're just doing the thing, once you sit down and you stop and you're changing things out, to me, it's just 
it's a hassle. So to each their own, the good thing here is that you can buy one tool and you can get a blower, an edger, and a trimmer attachment for it if you want to, or you can get a separate blower. Or if you're like me and in the future, you're gonna have a separate trimmer, separate edger, and a separate blower. But you know, that's just, depends on you. You do you boo. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or complaints, leave them in the comments section down below. As always, thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a great day. And don't worry, lawn care is not gonna be a new topic for the channel with the exception of a robot lawnmower. I wanna see how bad they are or how good they are. I can honestly say I have no idea. I've watched Watch JR Go and his, but I mean, every lawn's different. Every environment's different. I wanna try out a robot lawnmower. Okay, that's it.